for anybody that doesn't know, my name is Carly and I am a twin mom. Twins are right there. <laughs> and I just got in a new double stroller that I'm super excited about, so I thought that I would do a little unboxing. I've got Mickey Mouse on. They have teething cookies that they must be done with because they're already complaining. So we'll see how well this goes, but what better of a review than a real live one with crazy babies in the background? We'll see how easy it is to unbox and put this together with twins on hand. Want this one? No. Oh, you're so handsome. You're so handsome. You want that? Okay, you don't have to. All right, let's see if I can switch gears here and keep these two entertained. Okay, the babies are entertained again <laughs> for who knows how long. But like I was saying, I just got in the new Contours Curve double stroller. It's in all black and it has the faux leather trim. I'm super excited. I tossed and turned over getting this stroller versus some of the other um, double strollers out there like the Eppa Baby and the Mockingbird um, just because it, it is really expensive, but it's gonna be my third double stroller and the babies are only seven months old because I do still use my Bob daily, but it's so bulky and big. It doesn't really fit down like aisles if I need to go to Target or something like that. So I only ever use it for running outside and I do take them on walks or go for runs um, almost every day. We live in Oregon and it rains a lot. So not always, but I will use that thing for a long, long time. I've already gotten a flat tire in it and I had to get that fixed at the bike shop. It was super easy. So um, yeah, I'm very happy with my Bob. And then the other do double stroller that we have is the Baby Trend um, Snap and Go double stroller. And that has worked great for just leaving in the car in order to put their infant carriers on top of it when we go to a doctor appointment occasionally I think I've brought it in like one or two stores but they're COVID babies it's been a pandemic since they've been in the womb and so they really don't go a lot of places yet so that has been fine for us but we do hate how it's so long it's hard to get in and out of the elevator and it's hard to maneuver it's hard to like turn and everything unless you've used one it's kind of hard to explain but it's not like the most ideal for running errands with the babies. And so now that they have all their shots, they're almost seven months old, or no wait, they are seven months old. Oh, what am I saying almost? They're almost eight months old. Um, they actually have gone on a few errands with me now that they have all their shots. People are getting the vaccine, and so I'm feeling more comfortable taking them here and there on a few errands. And so I wanted to get a new double stroller that's going to handle aisles better, turns. I can go through a doorway on my own and not have to like hope that somebody opens the door for me or not have to scoot in backwards. Just all these things that us twin moms are having to deal with with the snap and go style. So I did splurge. I thought, you know what, I have budgeted to a T for all of our twin stuff, my nursery, everything was super budgeted, and so this is like the only time, <laughs> somebody dropped their sippy cup, this is the only time in my life I'm having kids, and I have twins, and I want a bougie, nice, luxury stroller, so I got one, and I'm excited to show it to you guys. Okay, so here it is the box of the contours curve double stroller i'm going to unbox it for you guys and show you what it looks like we will see if the babies <laughs> we'll see if the babies uh stay happy while i do this
These are done eating and somewhat entertained. <laughs> and I say somewhat because I hear them. This is kind of turning into like a day in the life <laughs> doing this by myself. But here's all the parts. Um, it, it doesn't look that complicated to put together. I mean, I just gotta pop the seats on and the wheels and all that. Off the bat, I have a few little things and I'm not trying to be a complainer, but because I spent so much money on the stroller, I mean, it retails for $6.99. Um, it only came with one cup holder, one parent cup holder, which I am like, okay, this is like a tiny little piece of plastic if for $700. Can dad get a cup holder too? Because usually if we're out and about, I'm with, you know, my husband, Dean, or my mom. And so it would be nice if there was two parent cup holders. Or maybe I have my water and my coffee. I need two. And then the other thing is, is that for the price, I wish that it also came with the plain bar and not always just the snack bar. Like the option to just have the plain bar like the gray color one does because um, when they're really little, I'm not gonna have snacks in there or I don't know. I just wish I had the option to have either or especially if I had a toddler that wanted snacks or in a baby that didn't need snacks. I don't know. But anyway, just being extra reviewy because of the price of the stroller. Besides that, it looks amazing. So let's get to putting it together. Okay, when I say it's like a day in the life, this is what's happening. He is cracking up hysterically. What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? And she's whining, which always seems to happen. One's laughing. One's crying. I love you. What's the matter? Look, look at your toy. Sister's crying. And we're back. The kids are here with us. Okay, so I realized that I put the back wheels on the front because they're the teeny tiny wheels. So I have to take those off and then put them on the back. So there's three different sizes. There's big, medium, and small wheels. And here, I'm gonna try to do this with a whiny baby. Cause she's teething and she's very whiny. So, the small wheels go on the very back because these are the assisted wheels for the curve. The medium sized wheel goes in the front and then the big wheel goes in the middle. So I did that wrong, but those would be easy to take off. The kids are napping and I've got this thing almost all the way put together. I did a few things wrong because I did not read the directions. <laughs> I just kind of looked at them a tiny bit and pieced it together in between a barking dog, a whiny baby, and a cracking up laughing crazy baby running around on a walker. So it is very easy to put together if a distracted <laughs> crazy lady like me can put it together. Um, but let me show you what it looks like so far. So here is what I have so far, basically the stroller frame. Everything just pops right in really easy. The bar um, handle popped right in. It has these little um, tabs that click it into place. The back wheels. Um, I had to connect this brake bar, the middle wheels, and then the front wheels. Um, the basket. I have first attached the basket um, elastic to this small one and then I had to change it and put it on the thicker bar so it goes on the thicker bar and then this is the little zip up extension piece that can make the basket bigger um, and then the seats and the canopies and the snack tray I just need to pop in so I will go ahead and do that
All right, I am all done putting it together. Here it is. It is absolutely gorgeous in my opinion. It has these big canopies and the canopies unzip here to make them even bigger. And then it has a little mesh screen so you can see the kids. And then it also has a magnetic mesh screen in the back so you can see the kids. It was super easy to put together. I mean, I honestly didn't read the directions, so I had to like redo a few steps. <laughs> but like I got to page two where I just like kind of glanced. Everything snaps together like super duper easy. So I appreciate that because I don't want to make my husband always do everything. He works all day long. He does like all the yard work and all the projects around the house. So I try to help out where I can. Um, I work too full time, but you know, you know what I'm saying? Equal partners. So I'm glad that I was able to put it together. Um, super easy. The footrest adjust, I can't do it with one hand, but you just squeeze in these two and then it goes up and down. That was one of the things about the Uppa baby that somebody had complained about that her toddler's feet dangled on the ground. And so the fact that the footrest goes up and down is one of the reasons that I got this stroller because of that. And I should mention, I don't live near a Bye Bye Baby or near a store that has these in stock and everything has been shut down for Corona off and on. So I couldn't see this in person. So this is my first time like seeing it in person and testing it out. So it was, a risk to buy it without you know knowing <laughs> exactly what I'm buying but one of the other complaints about the up a baby one and the only reason why I am comparing so much is because that was the other stroller that I was going to get is that the snack bar on that one she had complained that when you take it off to, to help get the kids out it dropped to the floor like that one and all the snacks could fall on the ground. So this one does the same thing unless I can kind of like rest it on the footrest and help them out. I could maybe if they had snacks in here or they're drinking here, save it. So that was a complaint, something to keep in mind. They both do that, but it's nice that it comes out of the way. I don't really have to worry too much about that right now, but I could see like at the airport, traveling at Disneyland, whatever, that might be annoying. Um, besides that, these go all different directions. So that's nice. Um, I love the ability that I can face the kids towards each other, keep each other entertained. I can face them towards me, which I could see me doing that like if we're at the grocery store or something like that and I don't want them grabbing at things, like having them facing me. Um, I love the huge compartment. The other big thing that sold me on the stroller is this pouch. <laughs> zipper. I guess it's not a pouch. The giant compartment zipper. So you could get to things like underneath or in the back because with the snap and go, my husband and I could never get to stuff. <laughs> like you shove everything under there and you can never get to it. Also, the seats sit above the basket so you can fit a lot under there and you know the seat isn't like in the basket which I really appreciate that um yeah I love this sleek black I kind of wish these were black I get it like they want some contrast but I'm into black so and then the brake super easy could do it barefoot or with sandals so the brake is easy and then the curb assist is what also sold me for like airports or Disneyland. I keep saying Disneyland because I miss Disney and I want it to open. Um, yeah, I'm excited. Okay, I am all done with my beautiful contour curve unboxing slash day in the life slash review video. I don't know what I'm doing, but um, thank you for suffering through that. If you are a mom, then you know that doing something like that, filming and <laughs> putting something together new with crazy kids and a dog running around is just normal life for us. If you're not a mom yet, get ready because this is what it's going to be like. You're going to want to do something, but it's going to take you 500 hours to do it because you have twins or kids and 
that's just our life now, but it's beautiful and we love it. So anyway, thank you again for watching. Thanks for following along with my journey and my family. If you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and please, please, please subscribe to my channel if you wanna stay connected with us. I would love to connect with you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Thanks so much and make it a great day.